Salawah Mizro. Once again, it's the brother Kalab out here on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom and teaching repentance to the house of Israel, which is the Native Americans, African Americans, and Hispanics and Latinos. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rahak Kadash. Hey, double honor to Apostle the Great Millstone, who taught his truth and who ruled well. A humble citation to hopeful let Christian is working to the sincerity I say Shalom. Hey, uh, once again I'm out here on, on the battlefield, you know, to the power and inspiration to how about Shimon Shah to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. And it's a beautiful day to condemn this, this damn place. Yes, sir. Hey, Esau man, you threw. Hey, and, and you see this goddamn devil, he he's got more uh, legislation on the books, right? To inoculate your kids with that serpent juice, right? He's getting ready to uh, make a, a decree, right? That for your children to go to school, right? He's gonna want you to take that serpent juice, right? Not to mention they got uh, uh, legislation on the books to roll out more, um, like do the spirit, right? Uh, more, um, what's it called? Uh, 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 quarantine camps, right? Which are, which are ultimately gonna be uh, concentration camps for you Israelites and that's punishment from the most high, right? So with that, I wanna grab a scripture, right? Cause we're to rejoice in these times. <laughs> This, this devil, this devil is backed up in the corner, so he has to come out. He has to, he has to, he has to come out with more unrighteousness, and he has to come in. He has to come like a goddamn serpent that he is, right? He saw eating the so-called white man, right? Revelations chapter twelve and twelve says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that go in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows." But he had but a short time. Yeah, you got damn devils, you upper echelon elite, you got down House of Edom, you Rothschilds, you DuPonts, you Maravichis, uh, you, uh, you British elite, you world international bankers, right? You wicked elite. Y'all trying to y'all y'all trying to uh, solidify your new world order. But guess what? The prophets here, I'm here to tell you, right? You got you guys got your uh, uh, Operation Warp Speed. Well, how about you, Michelle? Got Operation Note Speed. Meaning he, ain't, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna roll on on all of us, right? You can try your little feeble attempt to come to come against uh, the house of Jacob, right? The Israelites, right? But you're not gonna, you're not gonna fulfill your plan, right? And we're to rejoice that this devil is 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 is, is, is once again uh, continuously uh, moving forward with this wicked agenda, right? I'm, I'm gonna grab it one more time, just just for uh, just for the sakes of it, right? Revelation chapter twelve and twelve says. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that go in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is, and the devil's Esau eating the so-called white man is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yes, sir, beautiful times, right? I'm gonna just move uh, uh, through the list, you know, these scriptures, uh, you know, uh wanna, wanna give uh, double honors, uh, wanna give honors, you know, uh citations, you know, to the elders. Uh, for Sacramento, he, he came out with his uh, morning spiritual speaking, and, and a lot of these scriptures here uh, uh, were, were uh, on, on that basis. But, but to the spirit, you know, I'm gonna bring it out anyways, and I add it to it as well. So, but with that, um, Job chapter 14, Job chapter 14 and 5, see. See, Esau Edom knows that he has for a short time. That's why he has to roll out. That's why that's why he's up against the ropes. That's why he has to throw that Hail Mary. And, and because he knows that he's about to lose his game. He's about to be dethroned, right? And he's about to lose his rulership, right? You know what I mean? Esau's being about to be a base. That's what's happening. And then not to mention it's a beautiful sight, right? You see that that monument, that uh, Theodore Roosevelt, that thing, that that thing, uh, that thing's be taken down. That's right, boy. That's right. These goddamn devils, these crackers are about to be thrown in slavery, right? Because they're evil, Esau, Edom, goddamn wicked, right? Hey, Job, Job, <laughs> Job chapter 14 and 5 says, See, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, that thou hast appointed his balance that he cannot pass. So, so Yahweh Bashimasha has a, a set day, he has, Esau, Edom has an expiration date. It's all the wickedness and abomination that he expounds upon the earth, Yahweh Bashimasha is through and he's gonna, he's gonna wipe. He's gonna wipe the remembrance of these goddamn devils, right? Y'all about to see me turning it up, right? Putting that spirit on Esau Eden to come in, yeah. come in with the flood, right? 
coming, he's coming to destroy you, uh, so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, African Americans. Why? Because you're wicked as well. Uh, uh, Y'all about Shema Shah uh, using this goddamn devil as a threshing instrument upon you, goddamn, uh, uh, goddamn two thirds, right? Uh, Job chapter fourteen and four, five says, "Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his balance that he cannot pass." Turn. That damn devil is about to be a base, so that's why this goddamn devil is growing out more and more of his uh, righteousness, right? More, more, uh, more sorrows upon the earth. You just spit, I'm gonna grab something, right? We always do that, and that, these people are about to experience great pain and anguish, what they, what they well deserve, right? It's not, yes, it is. It's a spirit right on, right on the page. Hey, second Ezra, you just bear with me. Probably get a new sign here soon. Out here, Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50, and this is what, what you got damn Babylonians, you two thirds, and you heathen nations about to experience upon the earth, right? You'll have no understanding or knowledge of the most high. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50 says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. And these women are proudful as well, you know. You got down two thirds of the nation of Israel, you got down. Uh, uh, Hispanics, Native Americans, African Americans, y'all going in, y'all, y'all gonna get punished too as well with the heathens, right? The Moabites, right? Uh, the Ammonites, the Elamites, right? The heathen nations, they about to get punished out here for all the for all the, uh, for all the bloodshed and the, the controversy over Israel, right? I'm gonna put on the line, the line, and then we're gonna uh, send them curses on uh, Babylon that these damn people be destroyed. Yes, sir. Goddamn devil! Hey, but you know these people. These people are gonna uproar. They, they had fifty thousand at the Capitol uh, 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 protesting these goddamn mandates, right? And now they're gonna impose it on the children, right? All right, Esau. Keep that, you know, us men of the Lord, we through the Spirit, we know, we know uh, that's not our that's not our war. We're gonna let Yahweh Bashim Hashem handle our 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 cause, right? But these, 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 these heathens and Babylonians, man, it's gonna be it's gonna get ugly out here. And, and through the spirit, I'll probably grab uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen and sixteen at some point. Uh, I don't want the spirit permit permit there. So I got to lock you. I went to fifty, but it's ten. Isaiah, and this is what he's doing. He's man, and, and that's what that got down. That got down. The French uh, president, I believe, he said he's going to make your life more uncomfortable until until you get all these people into that herd herd inoculation. Right? That's what they that's what they intend to do. They're gonna make they're gonna make uh, this life harder until you submit. And now they've got more legislation on the books to get your children past five, right? You're gonna have to go juice up your kids and put that damn poison in them, right? So, so you see this goddamn devil moving. He's moving as the subtile snake that he is. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And this is what he's doing. Isaiah chapter ten, verse one. It says. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Hey, what are they prescribing you? They're prescribing you that serpent juice, right? Which is going to ultimately lead to your, your destruction. And you can see all these two-thirds Babylonians, hey, they're, they're, they're all gone in their mind. And, and guess what? We're rejoicing, right? Because Yahweh Bashim on our behalf, right? On the behalf of the nation of Israel, the real biblical Israelites, the Hispanics, Native Americans, African Americans, right? Yahweh Bashim is going to plague the earth. And you're gonna be in utter anguish and pain real shortly, right? For all the abominations committed and atrocities committed to the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man. What you thought you saw, you're gonna just pillage the world, uh, commit uh, a, gen a, a genocide upon the nation of Israel and just ride off into su to the sunset and not pay your tithe? Well, guess what? Y'all Bashi Masha has other plans. And guess what? You, you got that Edomite, y'all about to go into captivity along with you two thirds of the nation Israel ought to be destroyed out here. Yes, sir. A beautiful time to be alive. We're in the greatest time to be alive. Let me grab that. And this, this all these unrighteous decrees and man, it's a feeble attempt, an act of desperation to offset the prophecy right. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 10 and 1. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and their right grievousness, which they have prescribed, right? To take this trouble. Verse 2. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people which is 
That's moreover in regards to the elect of the nation of Israel. That widows may be their prey, that they may be robbed of fathers. And what will you do in the day of visitation and the desolation which shall come from afar? To whom will you flee for help? And work and, and where will you leave your glory? Hey, us men of the Lord, we're, we're putting our faith and our trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh But unlike these two thirds and these heathen nations, right? They trust in oppression. They trust in Babylon the Great. They trust in Egypt. That's why. You, that's why you're gonna get that goddamn serpent juice, right? That's why you went to the doctor and you got four, five boosters, right? Well, guess what? Now your health and now your whole mindset. Now you're you're gonna go into depression. You're gonna see all these calamities upon the earth, right? And now you ain't gonna be do, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it because you're gonna be in dire straits, right? Because you trust in the goddamn devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, which is the goddamn devil, and that's why he's rolling out his new world order because it's a feeble attempt. Because he's trying to offset the prophecies. He's trying to he's trying to come up with his own his own version because he knows what he has but a short time, right? As the scriptures say. Which I brought it out, which is Revelation chapter 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens. That's talking about the nation of Israel, so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Therefore rejoice ye nations, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, all you people out here. Right? Y'all about to suffer great evils, right? It says, of the earth. And of the sea for the devil. Hey, the devil Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is come unto you having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. If Esau Edom, the so-called white man's rulership is about to end. Hey, the why do y'all about shit me outside for that? All going on to y'all about shit me outside. Get ready to abase you goddamn devil, Esau Edom, right? That's the spirit that said 1144 right when I said that. So we're gonna go. Move on to Micah chapter two and one, right? So you better, you better get right. You think this is a fearful sight? This ain't nothing. This is nothing that's about to get ready to happen. And, and we're rejoicing, you know. Why y'all bashing me? I shot. Finally, y'all bashing me. I shot. Stepping in for our behalf. And if you, if you, if you, if you, if you so far Israelites can't understand, they can't feel that. Then you know there ain't no, no, nothing for you. There ain't nothing left for you. You're through too. Bear with me. Micah chapter 2. Oh, not, oh yeah. Micah chapter 2 and 2 says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when it is more. This is talking about the so called white man, right? Esau Edom. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity. That's why they got more legislation, more, uh, more uh, unrighteous decrees on the books to inoculate. The, the children that are five and up now that's gonna be the new thing right that's why you got 50,000 50,000 and on at DC protest but this goddamn devil he's still gonna roll this through he's gonna still put that goddamn juice the serpent juice up in your children right and, and just like that goddamn devil that, that president he said I'm gonna make I'm gonna make these goddamn people more life uncomfortable so guess what that's what that's what, what's coming here in America these goddamn devils they're gonna make your life more and more uncomfortable until you submit and take all the fucking Five, six, seven boosters, right? Until your ass is laying fucking flat on the ground, right? He's talk that's talking about the Israelites. That's talking about the Israelites. That's talking about the Israelites. And you know what? Hispanics, Native Americans, African Americans are the true biblical Israelites. Esau, even the so-called white man, is the son of perdition. That's why you see what he's doing. The earth, that's why the so-called white man is a goddamn devil. He's about to get hey, and that's why, that's why. No, that's why he that's why he's trying to roll out his new world order because it's an act of desperation, a feeble attempt to offset the prophecies of the rulership of the so-called black and Native American man. And guess what? All you two dirt that can't can't receive all about to be dead out here. They're about to be destroyed. Yes, sir. And to our people, this is what we tell them, right? Hey, we got a motorcycle club, okay, cool, that's cool, right? How long is that shit gonna last, bro? How long are you going to be out here uh, on a motorcycle fucking brain dead to what's going on in the world, right? And this fucking devil is trying to, trying to murk you, trying to take you out, right? See, our people are destroyed. That's why this scripture fits perfectly for our people. Then. Micah chapter 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted and shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Hey, so that's, 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 that's the point right there. Arise and depart from this. This is not your rest, uh, rest Israel. 
th this land of captivity ain't your rest, y'all. Y'all found comfort in this world. Well, guess what? You're about to be very uncomfortable in the days to come. Why? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's devised a fucking plan, an evil, just the most evil, wickedest plan to to uh, to subjugate the whole world and to perpetual rulership, to, to, to herd you in, to put you in a corner, for you to take that goddamn serpent juice, right? And then let, and then it's going to lead into the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, right? And our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because, hey, the, the, the so-called white man says jump. And uh, uh, Hispanics and uh, uh, Hispanics, Native Americans, African Americans, they say how high? They say how high to the so-called white man. That's why you're going to die with the goddamn white man as well, right? That's what's going on. That's what's going on in the world. That's what's going on. Yeah. You don't like it. It don't matter. It, it, this was written. Let, let me read this to you. Micah chapter 2 and 2 says, well, and this is talking about the so-called white man. Micah chapter two, uh, 2 and 1 says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in their power. The, the so-called uh, Esau Edom is in power, right? And then, all the, and that, that's in regards to our people too, that co-sign and, and walk in line and don't question the, this damn devil, right? They play into this devil, you know? They're co-conspirators. And the crimes and humanity, the crimes of humanity, so-called white man, and that's why these people are going to perish out here too. That's why, you, that's why your children. That's why there's going to be millions and millions and millions of, of, of dead people out here very shortly. Why? Because we're at the end. And this, and this, how this, how you, how about Shimei Shai wanted you? He wanted to get your ass in the midst of your fucking bullshit, right? He wanted to catch you off guard. He wanted to catch you with your pants down, right? Because you guys have no regard. You have no. No, uh, no empathy, no regard, no, no mindset, no nothing in thought of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai the Creator. Yeah, when you wake up, you think it's just all fun and folly, folly lolly la land, right? Well, guess what? A new day is coming, right? And, and what's coming is judgment. I'm gonna get this one more time through the spirit. Second Ezra, chapter eight and fifty, right? It says. For many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter time. Shall, the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that's, that's one of the main, main uh, wicked attributes that our people have. And, the, he, and, and moreover, the heathen nation. Well, where do you think they get it from, right? Okay. It's going to continue rolling, baby. That's what we do out here. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's a beautiful day to prophesy. Uh, to glorify the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai, and to send them curses on Babylon the Great that's going to be destroyed, right? Because our people are reprobates, right? African, so called African Americans, so called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Which is the children of Israel, right? Y'all, the holy, y'all, the uh, apple of the most high, y'all, the nation of Israel, the most glorified people, but yet y'all reprobate because y'all don't re want to reverence and turn back to your true power. Y'all trust in Egypt. Y'all trust in so called white man. You're going to take your fucking little kids, right? And put uh, and put the goddamn uh, serpent juice in them, right? And this is what, this is, I'm going to grab it one more time. This, this is about what's re uh, getting ready to happen uh, to two thirds of the nation of Israel, right? And the heathen nation, which is so called white man, and goddamn, uh, all these other nations, right? Second Ezra chapter 8 and 50 says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Hey. It's about to be a sore day and destruction coming for you. At least you repent to the God of Israel. You know, and smiling, eating pork, right? That's what our people do. That's why y'all about to have to take these people out. And, 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 and what he's going to do is going to take out Esau Edom as well, right? Because he's, he, he's the most wanted, right? You know, America's most wanted for that, that uh, 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 so called white man. Uh, Y'all about to be, uh, so called white man is America's most wanted, right? Uh, Y'all about to has a, has a warrant, a triple, triple warrant on Esau Edom, right? So, and, he, and, how, and how about Shema Shai Dana let, let him fulfill his plan? Let me grab a scripture here. So, Job chapter 5 verse 12 says, and you got down wicked elite, right? You deposit your rod child's your world internet uh world uh world banking elite, right? Y'all about to be punished out here. 
Y'all ain't gonna fulfill your little game, right? Your little, uh, little uh, Game of Thrones, right? Your little uh, New World Order, right? Job chapter five and twelve says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Y'all about Shema is gonna slap it out of your hands, right? Because this Esau Edom, Esau Edom is trying to uh, trying to uh, roll out his uh, New World Order, and it's all a game, right? That's all a game, right? One more time. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise and take it the wise in their own craftiness, right? Because because Esau Edom and, and, and his pursuit to uh like that, like, remember that remember that show Pinky and the Brain, right? Well, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna take over the world. So it's, essentially that's Esau Edom, right? Well, well that's what's gonna happen. He says he take it and because they think they're wise, he take it the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsels of the four are carried headlong. They meet in the darkness. They meet in the darkness in the daytime and grow in the noon die in, in the new day as in the night. And that's these, these wicked elite, these think tanks where they come up and conjure up ideas to destroy the nation of Israel, right? That's all they've ever done, right? They come up with ideas to destroy our people, how to get them addicted to drugs, how to how to uh, put them on the street, how to uh, uh, how to steal from them, how to uh, swindle everything out of them, how to break their spirit, how to poison them, how to destroy them. That's what these goddamn devils do, right? But y'all about to let that fall, let that fall upon their own heads, right? And, and so they're coming up with these plans in the, in the, in the dark. They're groping as if it, as they were blind, right? In the dark, coming up with these wicked plans, not knowing that y'all about to start pulling all the strings out, right? He's pulling all the strings and he controls uh controls the minds of these, these kings. You know what I'm saying? He controls the minds of uh, uh, that goddamn devil. And guess what? You're gonna get hit with the deep human mission, bro. You're saying all that dumbass shit. No, and that's that's how you know you know so called white man, right? So the permission, the permission, there's no there's no truth in it, right? It's just, it's just a reprobate reject, right? That's about to be thrown in captivity, right? Right? And then guess what's gonna happen? You you you're, gonna, you're no longer gonna be remembered, so you're gonna be a parasite. It's, uh, you know that uh, that one uh that one uh quote from uh, Planet It Beware the beast man, for he is for he is the end of the world. That's Esau Edom, and that's that's also also close in size with uh, uh, Esau uh, Jacob beheld uh, betwixt the heel of Esau. Uh, Esau uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning thereof. Right. So that so after this world passes away, a new world of righteousness is going to be established, and guess who's going to rule the new world uh, in righteousness? The so-called African American, Hispanics, and, and Native Americans. Right. Those are the two biblical Israelites. But before. Before that happens, they got to get hit with the goddamn nuclear bomb because they don't want to get right. They don't want to do drugs. They don't want to reverence their true power, which is Yahweh Shai, which is uh, Yahweh Shai, right? The, the, the uh, so-called Jesus Christ, right? He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, right? But well, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, and, and they're sucking on that, on that, uh, on all this goddamn poison that, that Esau, even the so-called white man, gave, gave you. That's why you're going to get hit with the bomb. That's why you're going to be destroyed. At least you repent to your power. Uh, keep it up. You, you'll still you'll still find out. But you'll still find out. Keep it up. But but if you have a mind, if you have if you have uh, if you have a mind, right? If you have a mind that still works, you're gonna seek the Creator. You're gonna repent from all your wicked deeds, and you're gonna and you're gonna you're gonna ask for forgiveness, and you're gonna repent, and turn back to your Halabashim Yalshai, which is the name of, of the Creator. And guess what? He is um, unbeknownst to the world. He's a so-called black man. And, and so that's why you, that's why you gotta understand. So, uh, and, and because I did this uh, Judite woman right here in, in the in front, she was just smoking on a, on a backwood or some dusty old, crusty old backwood with sticks in it. You know, see, our people are are are, are, are reprobate, right? Who just continues says, goddamn devil and in, in, in the wits of his goddamn practice and in, in his demise. He's groping in, in, in the night, trying to come up with plans to take to erase the remembrance of Yahbashim Yahshai, the, uh, the nation of Israel, right? But he's groping in the night because Yahbashim Yahshai is the one put, pulling all the strings. See, Esau is like Pinocchio. Yahbashim Yahshai is pulling all of the strings on him, ultimately to lead him to lead him into his own demise, which is his own snare, right? And 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 this is why I was telling her, you know, at least you repent. You know, you might have a, you need to repent and ask for forgiveness and put all the bullshit you're doing, put it away. Verse 15 says, but he saved with the poor from the sword. Now she's talking about the elect nation of Israel. I don't know how we feel that cloth from the mouth and from the head, hand of the mighty. 
So the core has hope and the nucleus you stop with her more. So yeah, that's 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 the, that's the game plan, right? That's the game plan. So so there's no way in hell y'all watching my is gonna let this goddamn devil continue in his madness, continue in his pinky in the brain, I'ma rule the world, right? Uh mindset that he saw even so-called white man the devil is trying to uh, uh subjugate the world to, right? And these goddamn humans are they're in league with it, right? Because they got a little we got a little position in life, but hey, all this stuff, this, all this, then you, we're coming into a time of great famine, great woes, great evils, and, and you're gonna have no, you're gonna have no, uh, no pleasure in them, right? Because it's a time of judgment, time of recompense. At least you repent, at least you be an Israelite, right? All our people are scattered within all the nations, right? But if the so-called African Americans, Hispanic Americans, those are the two biblical Israelites, which, which within that, the elect, those, those uh, may have a, a chance at salvation. But if you're not of that cloth, you're done. It's, it's goodbye for you, and you deserve it. You know, he could have. Uh, you look like a Filipino. He could have been his life. He, he didn't. Did not want none of that smoke. He was not looking. He was looking straight ahead because they know. They know in the spirit. Everybody somehow knows in the spirit what was getting ready to happen. Who's who? And, and who the Israelites are, and, and, and they're a little nervous. They, they don't want that. See, th there's a famous quote that says, you can, you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of reality, right? And see, that's what they want to do. They figure, they figure if they just keep their hand on the steering wheel and just go straight ahead and keep continuing their bullshit, hey, that nothing's going to happen. But guess what? I'm here to tell you, guess what? Great woes and evils and judgment and famine and death and destruction is coming to Babylon the Great. Yes, sir. Hey, the Wadi Abba Shimmy outside for that, right? So we're gonna continue. So and, and judgment for you, goddamn wicked elite, goddamn devils. Hey, Job chapter twenty, and I'm gonna get it at nineteen. Hey, Job, uh, Job twenty and nineteen says because he had, because he had the press and have forsaken the poor because he had violently taken away house which he built is not right all the lands all the all the freaking genocide all the rape robbery and pillage of, uh, of, of the native american Indians, and all throughout the globe that's what he does he rules with the sword right he steals he's a thief right and, 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 he, and he did he did not stay at home but anyways chapter 20, uh verse 20 says surely yeah surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly he shall not say of that which he desired which is a normal and that's the garden which he eat, right and all the other names and all the other kings and leave these goddamn devil, right? Because they're all sellouts. They're all sold out to Esau Edom. So these goddamn wicked lead Esau Edom, he's not gonna fulfill his enterprise. Job chapter 20 and 20 says, Surely he shall not feel kindness in his belly, he shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods, right? All, all the other nations, but they're, once they're not getting paid, once they're not getting money off the so-called off the so uh, so-called Babylon the Great. They, they're gonna turn on. They're gonna turn on America. They're gonna turn on Israel, and that's why all the other nations don't have respect for America anymore. Why? Because a, a so-called white man's—he's losing his vigor, his strength, right? That's why they took that goddamn monument, right, which uh, had Theodore Roosevelt with, with, with a, a Native American and an African American man. Well, that, there's a scripture that's uh, sy symbolic to that, which, say, which says, "It says uh, I have seen uh, I have seen service upon horses, right." And I have seen, uh, I have seen uh, kings and princes walking the earth. Me, me, that was spiritual. Meaning that the Israelites are the true kings and the servants of the goddamn devils, right? And that, and that judgment, and that, and that role, is, and that lot is actually going to be fulfilled, right? Why? Because because we're in a paradigm shift, right? We're going to go into a role reversal, and that's, and we're going to have all these white women. That's why. That's why she's looking at me like, hey, she's loving your boy, man. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? We'll have all these little, uh, all these women, right? So Esau, come with, keep come rolling out your wickedness, keep rolling out your goddamn mandates, keep rolling out your unrighteous decrees. Why? Because the more you do so, the more you're gonna get judged, right? And then, and then you're gonna have the second coming of Hamashiach outside that's gonna break open the clouds and put your ass in chains, and, and you're gonna get hit with thermal nuclear fire. That's what's gonna happen. Isaiah chapter 47 and 17. Ooh. 
Philadelphia. Isaiah chapter 47 and 12 says, and this is for you goddamn wicked elite. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sor sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, right? Shit, what's that, 17, what's they got that goddamn thing, 1772? Ever since you got to hit the goddamn shores of America, you've been put nothing but hell upon the nation of Israel, right? And guess what now, but nothing but righteous bring the face. It's coming to you goddamn devils. So you goddamn wicked elite, keep rolling it out, because how about you, my child? The more you do, you're going to put the foot down on that ass, right? Isaiah chapter 47 and 12 says, Stand now with thy enchantments and with thy multitude of thy sorceries, where thou in, thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be unable to profit. If thou, yeah, you're going to be able to, it says, if so be, that thou may prevail. And then see, these goddamn devils, they keep rolling out their wickedness and, and, and they're, getting, they're, they're getting plagued in the mind. They're, they're unsure, they're not confident because they know that how about you now, Shai? A greater power is going to come and, and restore the nation of Israel and going to put a stop to this goddamn white devil. That's what's going to happen. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and 13 says, Thou art word in the multitude of thy counsels. Let not the let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come up to thee. Hey, so he said, gather up, gather up all your, uh, your your witches and warlocks and stargazers and, and astronomers and mathematicians and magicians and all this crazy shit, right? That you goddamn homosexuals keep pushing out, right? Put all keep 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 throwing it, keep seasoning that. That damn pot of wickedness, right? Keep throwing it in there. Keep making that gu wicked gumbo, right? Because you ain't gonna be saved out of this, right? You're not gonna be saved. Y'all about you guys gonna come with righteous indignation to splatter the house of these uh, 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 with fire, right? Be verse 14 says, "Behold, they shall be as stubble; the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm to warm at nor a fire to see it. Thus say they." They be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter, none shall save thee. Ain't no, ain't none of your little so-called allies and friends. And, and, that, and that's what you're seeing to the spirit right now. Uh, none of these, none of these, like the, uh, there's a German uh, dictator here in the Americas who want to talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, sitting down and, and uh, talk, talking it out in regards to Russia and Ukraine, right? They don't want to meet. They, these people, these other nations, are, uh, they've lost respect for Esau, Edom, right? So you know, went around, around, around the globe, right, or America, right, more over the United States, and went and bullied all the other nations, making paying, making paying uh, taxes and taxation, right, and, and all these nations are pissed, you know, they want that smoke, they want that get back, and guess what, y'all about you let them get it back, right, that's what that's talking about, and and all this, all these goddamn devils, all efforts, all this goddamn, this, uh, this pandemic, right, this, uh, wicked decrees and mandates right it's all an effort to, to roll out ultimately they're going to want to roll out the MOTV well you're already seeing uh like the the the, 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 the V passport they're trying to merge it to the to that digital thing the, there's already talks of it right that, that damn devil call uh call Schwab. they're talking about it they're going to merge the uh the, the the V verification with RFID that's how they're going to get you they're going to look at their their they're herding you into that uh, imp, uh, that mark of the beast, right? I'll grab that right there. And that's why you got articles right now going into like a uh, Walmart in another country, right? They just announced Walmart that you can't go into the store at least you provide, at least you're uh, fully jabbed up, right? So, and that's going to come to America. You're not going to be able to go get uh, things, you know, like food, uh, your viticles, right? You're not going to be able to do that. At least, at least you'd be snaked up. Snake juiced up. Revelation chapter 13. And I'm gonna start at 15. And through this, through, through this, that's how this, that's why this goddamn devil, he he know he he wants to, he has a God complex. He wants to uh be reverenced as God. He sets his nest above the heavens, right? He he wants to become God, right? And how he wants to do it is through that his plan, right? His deceitful and, and lustful and corrupt mind. Uh, rotten mind thinks that he's going to be able to achieve it through this, through this mark of the beast, right? So I got Revelations chapter 13 and 15 that says, and that's how he's going to give life to the beast. Because he, he, wants to give, he wants to make y'all pay homage and to bow down to his uh, to his uh, to his mark of the beast, right? That's ultimately, that's what this whole thing's all about, right? That's what this scamdemic is all about. Ultimately, to lead you, and like I said, they're already merging those things. You're not going to be able to go to 
to Walmart or Costco and, and get whatever you need, right? At least you have the mark. And they're starting off with that, that serpent juice. Not to mention they already, in California, they have legislation in the works to pass a law that if you, for you, for you to have your kids in school, they're gonna have to be fully inoculated. Four, five, six boosters, right? What do you think that's gonna do to your children? What do you think that's gonna do? You think that's, that's healthy? No, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. That's why you got 50,000, you had 50,000 in DC yesterday protesting against it, but guess what? This goddamn devil, he's gonna continue, continue to push that on you, right? Hey, bet you're gonna need, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a savior then. You're gonna need a savior then, and that's why you gotta get, you, you gotta get your head out of your ass, right? And wake up and, and get right, and get right. You know, stop the bullshit, stop the folly. You know, and, and, and. hey, Revelations chapter 13 and 15 says, and he had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Verse 17, and that's, that's the thing I was talking about, the stores, so you can't get things. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom, right here, right here in this Right here, wisdom is right here, letting you know what's going on. Here is wisdom, let him that hath an understanding count the number of the beast. Let him know, way. Hey, let you know, hey, you better rec who's your enemy. You need to recognize who your enemy is, right? Who's the one pouring all this wickedness upon the earth? Let, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, right? And his number is 606 score, right? Goddamn devil. The physical embodiment of Satan. That's why when they, when every time they make a move, the, these upper echelon elite, they, they they go do they go do they go into their into their chambers, right? Their think tanks, and, and they and they call upon uh, on the spiritual uh, demon Satan, right, to, to co-sign and to give them more uh, more knowledge and wickedness, right, on the left hand side. See, Yahweh Shemeshai controls both sides, and Yahweh Shemeshai has got an expiration date. You goddamn wicked elite, right? That's what we're saying out here, and it's true. It's true. I started telling my sister. Oh my God, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you that if, if at least you repent, you're going you're gonna to be in dire case. And, you, and oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, believe it. See, you don't, see, these people don't believe. They don't, they, they, they so-called, you know, have an affinity that's for so-called white Jesus, right? But yet when we tell them this shit's going to happen, they don't want to hear. Why? Because it's a, it's a damper. It, 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 it dampers, it's a, it's a wrench in their little feeble plans, a little folly plans of bullshit, uh, uh, higher education, higher learning, uh, sports, careers, etc. Right? Because they're fully indoctrinated and fully invested in, into Egypt, into Babylon the Great, which is going to be destroyed, right? That's what we're out here doing. Psalms 119 and 44 said, ooh, hold on. Sorry. 119 and 49 saying, how about Shema Shai? He put the spur on us to believe on these words to have an expectation, to have a hope for salvation, right? Because of through our works, right? So we're hanging on to those, to those promises, right? So this is a scripture, you know, to build up our faith, right? To secure our, to letting us, you know, have full assurance, right? Psalms uh, 119 and 49 says, Remember the, and this is what we're singing up to you, how about Shun Yashai, right? Through our cries and supplications, right? Psalms 119 and 49 says, Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Verse 50 says, This is my comfort and my affliction, right? Because we're in a bitter captivity. Yeah, yesterday was one of, uh, for me, right? It was a very, very bitter day. But today, I'm all smiles, baby. Why? Because I, I reboosted, I re energized, I got in the, I got I read, I did some reading, I watched some videos. Yeah, you know, and, and, and the, the spirit hit me, and and, and, and literally, how about you? Know, made, made from point A to point B to point C to point D, right here on these streets, right? He put every single ingredient in me, every single path, every single uh, uh, schematic, right, to get to where I need to be to bring out, bring this out. So clearly, how about you? Know, 
you know, and, and, and he, he's dealing with us in our afflictions, right? Psalms, Psalms 19 and 49 says, Remember the word unto thy servant and upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision, yet I have not declined from thy law. Yahweh so Hashem Hashem is seeing that. He's, he's seeing our hearts. He's testing us through all, through all adversity. We're still on the highways and byways telling, telling these goddamn people what's getting ready to happen, right? And then there were evils. Look at the evils and plagues and famine and death and destruction. You're about to, about to come to Babylon on the grave, right? It's exciting, dude. It's exciting, baby. It's exciting, man. It's exciting. Hey, you know what? The greatest men that ever lived on the planet Earth wished, dreamed, and begged to see these days. And guess what? You're about to see them, baby. You're about to see it. You're about to see. Woo! Hey, you're about to see some shit out of a movie. You're about to see a huge, the, the greatest movie. You got green, man. Hey, but, all right. There you go. There you go. About to see some crazy shit, man. Buckle up. Buckle up for the ride, baby. About to be fun. And you know who's going to get the worst? Who's going to get the worst? So-called white man. Esau Edom. Son of perdition. Esau Edom is about to get, is, is, is the one that the Yahweh Shemashah is mainly after. He's got a huge, he's got a huge recompense for you devils. So to that, you know, yeah, we're, we're pleading our cause, y'all, by that they may remember his, his words and our promises, and though, and through our afflictions, you know, we're fulfilling our, our, our to the best of our ability, you know, uh, through the reverence, uh, doing, doing, uh, doing the will, you know, doing the commandments, right, and the best of our ability, setting, setting up a curse upon Babylon and glorifying the Heavenly Father, right? That's, that's as much as we can do. Psalms. You know, so we're cleaning up our cause. The Abashim Hashem may hear us to our enemies, right? Psalms. Psalm 17 and 13 says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is which is thy sword. For men which are which men are thy hand, O Lord, for men of the world which have their portion in this life. It's talking about these so-called damn wicked elite, so-called uh, rich uh, upper echelon white devils, right? They, they control the world, right? And this is what this is talking about. This It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint them, cast them down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from, from men which have thy portion in which which are which are thy hand, O Lord, the, you know, the hand of punishment upon the nation of Israel. From men of the world which have their portion in this life, Jesus got down. These goddamn devils, they have substance in this life. They have, they have uh, possessions. They have land. They have all these things. They have the fat of the land, right? And whose belly thou fullest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. That's why you know. That's why. Uh, that's why they right here in the Central Valley, like right, that's they got all the dairies, they got all the farmland, they, they control the thing. They guess what they do? They pass it on to their children, and that's why they've been living fat and fat. And guess who gets to be the slave laborers out here? Right? Who gets who, 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 you know who who just got that devil uh have in, 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 in derision? So called Israelite man, so called black Hispanic Native American man, right? Who's living on the res out here? Native American man. So that's that's symbolic as to who the nation of Israel is. It's obvious. This thing is simple, right? So, so how about you? So we're pleading our cost today, and he's gonna listen. He's gonna listen to his remnant. He's gonna listen to his elect, right? He has a strength into his leg. So we're, we're pleading our cost to y'all about you now, shot that he may cast this goddamn devil down. Psalms 94 and 19. I always like to end with a little song, right? multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul verse 20 shall thy throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by law and that's what that's what that's what they got more legislation more unrighteous decrees come out with their wickedness right to uh, to coerce uh, people right and also to destroy the nation of Israel which Yahweh Shema has a great problem which is, which is the controversy of Israel which Yahweh Shema Shai is going to stand up for our behalf right there's a scripture that says when they see it, there shall be trouble with terrible fear. 
and 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 uh, the, the strangest uh, the strangest of his salvation would be beyond all that they look for, right? Because they're not expecting the so-called Hispanic, Native American, African American man to be the true children of Israel, right? They're not expecting that. None of these people think that we're the true biblical Israelites, right? But Yahweh Shem Shai, the Creator, right? He's gonna make that known, right? How's he gonna make that known? Well, all these people are dying, right? Yahweh Shem is gonna have a, a force field, you know, you know, uh, uh, how do I say? Figuratively speaking, right? He's gonna have a guard upon his elect, right? Yahweh Shem is not gonna let all, all these evils plague the remnant of, of the nation of Israel, right? Or at least you repent. Psalms 94 from 19 all the way down it says in the multitude of thy thoughts within me thy comfort delight my soul shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by law that they, they gather themselves together against the souls of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood the innocent blood you know, the ones that are justified in the nation of Israel and moreover to the elect verse 22 says but the Lord is my defense and my God is the rock of my refuge he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Ye, the Lord of our God, shall cut them off. Goddamn wicked me. That's what's going to happen. Goddamn, you know, all these goddamn filthy crackings, right? Y'all guys are through. And to end this, uh, end this uh, camp today on, on a beautiful song, you know, Psalm 28. I'm probably just going to grab the whole song, you know, just to be short. In our cause, and how about she is hearing us? He's hearing us, remnant, you know. I don't know about this, i that of that of that cloth, right? Spirit Psalms chapter 28, verse 1. It says, and with, this is a uh, psalm of David it says, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me, least if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down to the pit. Hear thy voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked. And it's these two thirds got down wicked heathens and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their heart. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the, give them, give, give, give them after the work of their hands rendered to them their desert because they regard not the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands he shall destroy them and not build them up blessed be Yahweh because he hath heard the voice of my supplications the Lord is my strength my shield and my heart trusted in him and I am helped therefore my, my heart greatly rejoices and with song will I praise him the Lord, the Lord, is, the Lord, is, the Lord is their strength and he said and he is saving the strength of his anointed. We're the anointed out here. We're the ones who are talking to y'all about you now. Shot. We're not crying for our Lord Jesus. Our God is shot, which is the God of Israel. The God of the Hispanic, Latino, Native American, African American, right? We should repent and seek the God of Israel. He's going to destroy you. The Lord is your strength, and He is, and this, you know, and this, He's our strength. I don't want to all. We're the elect. The Lord is their strength, and He is the saving, save. He is the saving strength of His anointed. Save the people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Hey, the Wadi Al Bashim Yashan for his, his marvelous works. I give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushan Bashim Rakadash. Hey, double honor to Apostle Greg Milson who talks the truth and who wrote well. A humble citation to Aki and pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.